Our first caller is Audrey from Pennsylvania. Hey, Audrey, how can we help you? Hi, you guys. Um, so first of all, thank you for everything that you do. It's an honor to be talking with you. Um, so basically, I'm normally a very active person. And uh, I had emergency surgery back in September for appendicitis. And everything seemed to go well with that. But during my recovery, there seemed to be some type of nerve damage that had been done perhaps through the surgery or perhaps through uh, working with my sports doctor. Um, so what ended up happening is I had extreme 10 out of 10 pain most of the time uh, for several months up until about April when I was able to finally do things again. Um, what I did was I started with MAPS anabolic in pre-phase to get back into my lifting. And then I worked through MAPS anabolic backwards from phase three to phase one. So I get, my question is, I'd like to get back some functional strength and my athleticism again. If I go into MAPS performance to accomplish that goal, can I start at phase one, even though I'm coming off of a similar, the phase one of MAPS anabolic being heavy, going into a heavy phase of MAPS performance? Yeah, that's a, that's a really good question. So for people who aren't familiar with the programs, phase one of MAPS anabolic and phase one of performance, they have some different exercises. It's a little bit different, but... Essentially, you're lifting heavy weight, lower reps, you're doing longer rest periods. And so the question is like, okay, I'm moving out of that kind of a phase. Do I go straight into the similar phase into the next program? So my answer to that is yes, but I would shorten it. So I would do, you did three weeks of phase one in MAPS Anabolic. Yeah, maybe two of performance. Yeah, do one or two in MAPS Performance and then move on. And, and the reason why I'm saying that is because it is different in MAPS Performance in terms of the programming. Yeah, the tempo is a bit different. A bit different. So I would go one okay. to two weeks, phase one, then jump right into phase two of uh, performance and then you should be totally good. I can tell you listen to the show too for quite a bit because you, I think we've talked, we talked about that a long time ago, right? If somebody was injured, how I would train them. And I think I talked about Katrina training reverse, right? As far as anabolic. Is that where you, if that what made you decide to do that uh i'm actually a personal trainer on the side and yeah I, but i've been listening to you guys for since 2014 so you're you're my my fitness mentors for sure i love it i love um, we've been around that yeah. long <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> say again no i i love i love that i mean i think that's just a, a smart decision after coming out of an injury yeah. like that going right some people you know start with like a anabolic and go right into strength and i'm like you know if you're just getting back from recovering starting and so the audience that doesn't understand what we're talking about uh, phase three of anabolic is higher reps, right? Higher reps, lower weight. Um, so I just think that's a smarter play, even though in the program, that's our third phase. If you're, if I had somebody who was recovering from something or just getting off of a surgery, I would rather them do lighter weight and more reps until we fully recover before we go after like a strength phase. So I think that was mm -hmm. a, a brilliant way to yeah. run that program. And, and I, I, you have access to prime pro and prime. I see in the question, cause those are the other things that I would say to add to your routine. Yeah. I did that as best I could during recovery. Uh, I was very, I was in a lot of pain. So even that was, was difficult for me, but I, I, I lost a lot of mobility. I lost a lot of weight. It was pretty terrible. <laughs> well, it's good to have you back. So you're hundred percent now. Uh, just about, I measure that by my deadlift weight last year, which was 260. Whoa. So I Whoa, consider myself at like not anywhere near hundred percent, but I'm working at it. Cool. Well, yeah, no, do, do do what we said. I go one one week or two weeks in phase one of performance mm -hmm. and then keep moving. Those mobility sessions and performance, those mobility workouts are going to be really, really Oh my valuable. gosh. Yeah. yeah, those are awesome. All right, cool. Thank, thank you for calling in. Thank you guys very much. Have a good day. No problem. Yeah, that's cool. Um, it's cool to have a question from someone who's, who's got some experience and kind of understand. Because the goal always was to create these programs, have people follow them, 
and then kind of learn their body and adjust them to their individual needs. Well, that's the, great that we yeah. have a podcast to explain it, you know, yeah. even further. And I think that's why it's important. That, like you, you're able to do both because we did have to write those kind of generally. Uh, but I love the way that she was able to, you know, create uh, mm-hmm. that to be more specific to her needs. I, I talked about this right after Katrina's pregnancy. So, uh, you know, and I got a lot of questions around, you know, why did you tell her to go to phase three in, in reverse? And it's not that she couldn't have started in in anabolic phase one. I mean, I could have had her do that and then just told her, hey, back off the intensity and don't try and max load anything and and Mm -hmm. take it easy. But it was just as it was easier for me to say, hey, just run the program in reverse. So that because what I'm looking at is I know that it's going to be 10 weeks or so before she even gets to really heavy lifting and she'll be lifting lighter weight for more reps, which is less risk when I have somebody who's, you know, in her case, just coming back from recovering from pregnancy, or in this case, somebody recovering from injury, I think it's just a, a smarter strategy. And that's, again, like to your point, this is how we always create these programs is not a one size fits all. It's, you know, you take the print core principles from them. It doesn't mean you can't modify and change.